so after a morning of shopping on the Wellway market and in the floating market, uh, our next uh, third stop will be headed towards uh, the area of Canterbury, which is the home of, home of the famous Bridge River Kwai, uh, which was built uh, during World uh, War II. So the work was started on 1942 and was completed in a year. Uh, due to the uh, difficult terrain and conditions, um, thousands of laborers lost their lives uh, along with the POWs. The bridge uh, River Kwai became famous all over the world when it was featured in a movie and a book. Uh, the novel Bridge Over the River Kwai was written by Pierre Boulier in 1952, was a French author, translated into English in 1954. The novel discusses or the events during war, World War II British prisoners of war that were uh, forced by the Imperial Japanese Army uh, to build a bridge. Um, the bridge has a, ne a nickname of Death Railway because a lot of the prisoners that died. Um, some of the reports are saying that during its construction approximately 13,000 prisoners of war died and were buried along the railway. Uh, also an estimated 80,000 to 100,000 civilians also died in the course of the project. In 1944, the Allied forces bombed the Iron Bridge. Uh, three sections of the Bridge River Kwai were destroyed. Uh, the present bridge has two of its central spans rebuilt, and the original parts of the bridge are now displayed in the War Museum.
after a morning of eating nothing but sweets and desserts and snacks, I asked my tour guide to help me with the restaurant owner or the cook to give me something extra spicy for lunch. So after lunch, uh, we went to the um, the museum and right next to it is the uh, Canterbury uh, War Cemetery uh, which has about or around 7,000 POWs who sacrificed their lives in the railway construction are buried. Uh, there are other 2,000 that are laid at rest at the Chunkai Cemetery. historical um, sites um, the tour group now is headed towards uh, the hotel uh, River Kwai Resort Hotel finally arrived uh, to head to our hotel and only way to get to the hotel is via the river and by the boat. Our hotel name is River Kwai Resort Hotel.
this jungle style setting of chalet um, was one of the most cutest experience I ever had uh, while I was in Thailand. Each room uh, is a uh, thatched roof and decorated in jungle setting, uh, which actually gave the feeling that I was in like Africa. So after checking in, uh, I waited by the poolside just to kind of relax uh, for my Thai food massage. Um, they charged uh, 350 baht, which is equivalent to uh, US $10. After my foot massage, I ended the day with a really uh, delicious local uh, fish uh, that was steamed with um, hot and spicy chili and lime sauce. It was a, a nice way to end a really uh, long um, day. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah